Hi everyone, this is the video that's the fourth in the Multiplication and Division series. Today you will learn to solve equal group problems by skip counting while imaging. To image means to have a picture in your head that represents the number that you see. Our first skip counting sequence that I will ask you to image is the pattern for two. Here we have some flower pots that have flowers growing in them. I would like you to see a picture in your head about the groups of flowers that will grow out of each pot as we skip count in groups of two. The label on the pot will give you a clue. Here we go. Two. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. Twelve. 14, 16. So, did you have an image in your mind of the flowers in the pots before they grew out? Was your total 16 as well? We counted eight pots with two flowers in each. Another way to say that is eight sets of two, or to write it as 8 times 2. The next skip counting sequence that I will ask you to image is for the pattern of 3. Here we have the flower pots again. I would like you to see a picture in your head about the groups of flowers that will grow out of each pot as we skip count each group of 3. Here we go. 3 6 9 12 15, 18, 21, 24. So, did you have an image in your mind of the flowers in the pots before they grew out? Did you also get a total of 24? We counted eight pots with three flowers in each. Another way to say that is eight sets of three. And a way to write it would be 8 times 3. Our final skip counting sequence that you need to image is the pattern for 5. This time we have boxes of crayons. Create a picture in your mind about the groups of crayons that will come out of each box as we skip count each group of 5. Here we go. 5. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. How is that imaging coming on? Could you see the crayons before they slid out of the box each time? We counted six boxes with five crayons in each box. Another way to say that would be six sets of five and a way to write it would be six times five. Review this video until you feel confident about skip counting while imaging. Next you can move on to watching video five in the series where you can learn to use skip counting to solve equal group problems with numbers. Bye for now!